What's up, fellow rock star? Today I'm going to talk about the power of letting go. About how sometimes we end up being our own nemesis, our own worst nightmare. And sometimes we need to be a bit kinder to ourselves. You see, the last video I put out was about two weeks ago, a bit over that. And I talked about how I, how I had just recovered from being sick. And I got sick again. <laughs> And I was so pissed at that because I usually never get sick. But this year, things have happened that I guess I didn't take that much care of myself as I should or simply my immunity wasn't that strong this year. And I ended up getting back to back a flu, a strong flu, then food poisoning. And then when I fought, I was getting better when I was had a great day, went to the gym super early, did a bunch of stuff, went out with my friend, and then I wake up the next day with dengue fever, which sounds like an exotic disease for the tropics, and it kind of is. And the first few days, you're there under that fever, you have that internal heat, you're trying to get over the parasites in you, the virus, the whatever it is. And you really want to, to do stuff to be the person you're used to being because you're used to having a big part of your self-value coming from the things you do. But you don't realize that you are a human being, you're not a human doing. And this is what happened to me. And this is something that happens to a lot of people who are high achievers, who are overachievers. When we get sick or when something happens that we can't perform at the level that we're used to, we might end up being our own nemesis. We might end up using language with ourselves that we shouldn't be using in the first place. And this is what happened to me. And... It really, it took me a while, it took me a few days to realize that I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be thinking, oh shit, I should be doing stuff. I, I wish I was like reading this or writing that or recording the, that video or talking to this or so and so person and having new episodes on the podcast. And of course, I, I always want to bring new stuff and actually I have a bunch of things in the backlog, I have a bunch of things recorded already that I wanted to be able to put out there, but I just couldn't look at a screen for half an hour or one hour, let alone a few hours to do that. And I could keep thinking bad of myself. I could keep self-mutilating, but that wasn't what I should be doing because by doing that you enter a vicious cycle in which you end up just wasting your energy that you should be using to recover and you waste it saying bad things to yourself and that doesn't make any sense. So when I decided to let go, when I finally let go and focused on recovering and didn't care that I wasn't doing anything that I was just lying in bed and taking the occasional medicine, drinking a lot of stuff because you have to drink a lot of liquid because you have like the, the virus, the parasite, and I'm not sure. I think it's a virus. It really makes you, you have a lot of toxins in your body that you need to flush away. So I was drinking these coconut waters and water and, juices and a bunch of stuff just to wash that you know wash that stuff down and it was hard it was really hard especially in the beginning but as soon as i let go and as soon as i let myself just rest and that i realized yeah it's supposed to be like hell for a week or so and there's nothing that we can do we you can try to make it a little better of course you you take a shower to try to reduce your fever. You may take some 
medicine for that as well. And there are some things you can do, but there are things that you just can't. And there are those first few days, especially, I couldn't even sleep. Well, really, I couldn't even, yeah, I pretty much didn't even sleep. It was terrible. And by being, by thinking about how I should be doing stuff, that wasn't helping me at all. So as soon as I just let myself rest and was calmer about it, letting, letting it go, just lying in bed and listening to movies or to soccer games because there's the, the Euros now and the Copa America. So I was just listening to stuff, listening to YouTube videos. I wasn't really answering anyone on my phone or anything. I barely could look at it for five or ten minutes so I really wasn't thinking about other people I had to be selfish that's the thing when you're sick right and yeah letting it go you really need to to let go at times there will be those times in which you really can't do anything about it and if you cling to it if you attach to it the only thing that will happen is that you will waste your energy, you will waste your time, and you will end up getting worse results than if you simply let it go. So yeah, the gist of this video, it should be a shorter one, is that sometimes we, you just need to let go. You know, when sometimes when we get sick, sometimes when things happen that are outside of our control, we just need to let go. We just need to trust in other people, trust in the higher power. And yeah, just just live with it, just roll with it. That's what rock stars do. You don't overthink stuff. You don't overreact about stuff. Just roll with the punches that life gives you. And, and now we're fucking back. Good things are fucking coming, as they are always are. Of course, I'm going to focus now on taking care of my health more than I was lately. And I think you guys should do this too, because we only really appreciate our health when we lose it. And this is something that I say a lot, even in normal times, but I really want to underscore this now because you put it in bold, put it in italic, like highlight it, everything. Because without health, we're nothing. We're really nothing without energy. You can't do anything. So being productive is more about energy management, about health management, emotional management than anything else. So just try to focus a little bit more on that. And, you know, yesterday I, I was working out with my dad and our personal trainer. And, and the dude said that it can take up to three months to fully recover from this because it like makes your blood thinner and a bunch of other stuff. And I think that in about two weeks, I should be good to go. I like right now, I feel like, you know, you have the, if we had the health bar and the stamina bar, if life was a video game. Right now, I really think that my health bar seems rather good, maybe 70, 80%. But the stamina bar is terrible right now. It's really, you get tired faster and you recover slower. So it's really a bit of a bitch. But at the same time, no chance in hell that I'll let this happen for three months. I think in about two weeks, I'll be really good to go. Of course, I'll, I'll be doing things to recover faster. And so yesterday was the first time in two weeks that I went to the gym and now today I'm going to do something as well and tomorrow and, and eat healthy and try to sleep better and do all, all of the, those things. And of course, think positively because if I put it in my mind that, oh yeah, it's normal, man, you know, it takes three months to get fully good. And even then you might never fully recover dude if i put this in my mind my health will suck so you just can't put those things in your mind you just need to put that 
things will be better than they're supposed to be. And by supposed to be, I mean, the things that people usually say, the, the belief that's more prevalent about stuff. You know, if you want to be someone extraordinary, you need to have extraordinary beliefs. You need to do things that are out of the ordinary. So this is my mindset to recover faster. And please let go of things like it's like if someone had a knife and you're holding on to it, 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 you're just hurting yourself by keeping that firm grip on the knife. Sometimes it's better to just let go and you will be able to recover faster. And this goes for relationships, this goes for health, this goes for work, this goes for a bunch of stuff. Thank you for watching. I will try to release all of the other videos that are on the backlog on the next few weeks. So I hope you like them and keep rocking, keep rolling. You are a rock star. Please send this to your friends, comment, because we are on the journey to get to 1.2 million rock stars in the making by the end of 2024. And I hope that we didn't get too much out of schedule after I got sick back to back to back. So let's, let's keep rocking, keep rolling and get back to it. See ya.